On 21st of June 2020, few lucky ones witnessed a solar eclipse. A natural phenomena which finds its place both in science and religion. Such events are key to many treasures. One of which was found by Sir Albert Einstein about a century ago. I'll tell you the story, but first, let's catch up with some background. The Sun is a star around which revolves the eight planets, including our Earth. We know that Earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete its orbit around Sun, which we define as one Julian year. Similarly, the Moon also revolves around Earth and it completes its orbit in 27.3 days. A solar eclipse happens when the new moon moves between Earth and the Sun while a lunar eclipse occurs when Earth casts a shadow on the full moon. The eclipse on June 21 was annular, which means the moon was farthest from Earth and did not cover the entire Sun. Now back to our story. In the year 1905, Albert Einstein wasn't a household name. He was a professor in Berlin. He has proposed the theory of general relativity. Based on his theory, he claimed that the star's positions in the sky would shift during an eclipse and by how much. Two British scientists, Sir Arthur Eddington and Sir Frank Tyson, decided to test Einstein's theory. During the total solar eclipse of 29th May 1919, they took pictures of stars beyond sun and compared these images with the ones shot during normal days. They found that the stars appeared to have shifted slightly, proving Einstein's theory. This event made Einstein a superstar in the world of science. Huh? What just happened? Let me explain. Einstein's theory went beyond Newton's idea that gravity is a force pulling objects together. This theory reimagined gravity as a wrapping of time, space and a force which can distort the path of light. Imagine this surface which presents time and space. A massive object like our sun distorts this space-time fabric by its gravity. As per the theory of general relativity, if another star emitted a light and the light travels near our sun, it will bend because of sun's gravity. This will lead us to believe that the star is indeed located at a different position than it really is. Bigger the object, bigger the distortion and more its gravity can bend light. The theory of general Wait. 